Today on the Edgy Veg, I am here with my friend Anthony DeLuca, who is a men's style vlogger. Hey guys, thanks for having me. Most people here don't know that I actually lost 90 pounds myself, and a lot of my viewers wanted me to talk about that journey. So for the next 30 days, I'm going to be giving fitness tips, food advice, and just tips and tricks that I've kind of learned along the way. And I'm so happy to be here because what we're doing today and for the next couple of weeks every Wednesday is pretty awesome. And today we are focusing on very quick, easy vegan breakfast to get you out the door, but make sure that you're fed or eating at least on the way to work or eating at your desk. The first thing I wanted to show you is just a really quick, easy green smoothie. So do you eat green smoothies normally or drink Often. them? I mean, I make smoothies almost every morning. I think they're a great and easy alternative to like a full blown breakfast. Absolutely. I mean, this like, green frothy color a lot of the time really scares people and so this one is just pineapple mango kale parsley a little bit of ginger and almond milk i also love that you used a banana for ice yeah right? and then you're not watering down your smoothie you're still getting all those like really great antioxidants the potassium all the nutrients look the straw stands straight up that's yeah. that's when you know it's good that's when you know it's good the next breakfast is one of my favorites when i was working a nine to five job I mean, I got out of bed at the very last minute and then got ready in about 20 minutes so and out same. the door. So I didn't have time to eat well, but I had a very long commute. So I made overnight oats. So you make this the night before, you put it in your fridge and then you take it out and it's in this like great mason jar. You can put it in a Tupperware container and then you can just eat it with a spoon. It has oats in it. These ones, um, you can do gluten-free, you can do ancient grain oats. So it keeps you fuller for a long time. So it keeps you from snacking, you know, like 10 o'clock right. at the desk. Because it's hard to go from breakfast breakfast to lunch and like it sometimes is. you get that was like early morning hunger pains. So again, it's just peanut butter. We have some chia seeds in there, oats. For topping, I did goji berries, but you can top it with whatever you want. One of the cool things about making something like this overnight is that you can really customize it to whatever dietary preference you have, or if you have specific tastes, we're using goji berries here. You can use blueberries, you can use whatever fruit you want. We're using almond milk. You can use coconut milk. It's really up to you. Yeah, you can switch up these ingredients. I've even done a chocolate version. Oh. The last one is my favorite. I mean, you guys know I'm obsessed with avocado. Fats are what give me the skin and are what helping me grow up my hair and it keeps you fuller longer. I think a lot of people like have this misconception that fats are bad for you, but if you're like actually ingesting healthy fats coming from like really natural sources, that's amazing for your skin. It's amazing for your indigestion and just like overall body health. Yeah, and it helps curb cravings. It's just mashed avocado. I added some apple cider vinegar in there so you don't have to use salt if you don't want to. And how apple cider vinegar is really good for your digestion. And then I top it with chia seeds. So it's a great way to get in your omega-3 fatty acids. And you can top it with whatever you want. So you can top it with some balsamic, a little bit of pepper, or hot sauce, which is my favorite. This one is a sprouted flax and chia bread and it's ancient grains. That's one of my favorites. I'm not personally gluten-free, I mean, Gluten-free and vegan, there's a tough. That's a tough toss-up. Tough pill to swallow. If you guys liked what we did in today's video, make sure to you know give us a thumbs up, obviously. And Big thumbs up. And make sure to click the link in the description box below where you can come over to my channel. We talked about five foods that have this misconception of being healthy when in reality they're really bad for you. So hopefully you guys enjoy that video as well. And when you get over there, make sure that you give them a big thumbs up and subscribe. And let me know if you're from this channel because we're gonna be doing two others in the next bunch of weeks so there's a lot of stuff coming yeah leave anthony a comment below saying i'm from the edgy veg yeah anyways have an amazing day guys bye